Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, April the 11th, 2024, and this is episode 4297. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Sing. Stay tuned. Sing. Oh, you're thinking, oh, Bruce, <laughs> you don't want to hear my voice. I, I, I can't sing. Oh, listen, we can all sing. We may not sing in tune, but we can all sing. And Psalm 96, 1 says this, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. At one time or another, we have all had a song get stuck in our head, right? (laughs) Either because it was a masterpiece or just simply catchy, you know, like, the bigger the burgers, the burgers are bigger, the burgers are bigger at Burger King. (laughs) I'm from Miami. I ate at the very first Burger King. So sometimes we get little things go in our mind like that. Down through the ages, music has been an important part of almost every culture. The Bible mentions songs and singing 303 times. All of this points us to the fact that music is a gift from God and one of the ways he has chosen to reveal himself to us. It always seems that he uses it as a means of allowing us to discover creativity within ourselves. That's not too surprising since God is by definition the creator. And when we write, play, sing music, we discover new insights into his character. One of the most classical composers wrote their music to try and reflect an understanding of God and his creation. Who are you talking about, Bruce? I'm talking about Johann Sebastian Bach's personal Bible contains over 300 handwritten marginal notes, giving us a wonderful window into his gift of music. He wrote in the margin next to Second Chronicles five, twelve through 13, which records how, as the Levites worshipped at the dedication of the temple, the glory of the Lord filled the place. He wrote this, In devotional music, God is always present with his grace. He was obviously a person who spent some time poring over scripture in personal study. Hymn writers in more recent history have taken up the challenge to sing a new song, many a freshly written work. Down to this day, the Holy Spirit continues to inspire fresh compositions about God for us to sing to our Creator. One of the best antidotes for the storms of life is to find a private, quiet place and sing a song to the Creator. Now I'm going to close this episode with a story. I have the wonderful opportunity to be a blessing to different people. And there's a a dear friend uh, that I meet with every week. And uh, that person was going through some challenging times. And We were just talking and encouraging one another. And then the Holy Spirit just brought an old chorus, not a new song, an old chorus to me. And I sang it. It was in a Zoom meeting. And I'm going to sing it to you right now. And as I was looking at my friend, as I was singing this to him, tears Uh, created in both of our eyes. So, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Turn your eyes 
upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. O Father, help us to sing to you. You are worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Thursday. Sing. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.